the Maple West music. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, that boy Max. My homie RDR is actually on vacation right now, but this is still the Midwest Music Grind. Sponsored by Dante's In and Out, 967 South Kentucky Avenue, Evansville, Indiana, 47714. And today, y'all, we got a special guest. We got the homie King Black is in the building. King Black, what is popping? Sir? What's up? What's up? What's How you doing? No, man. I am groovy right now, brother. Thank you for having me. Oh, man. Thank you for coming in, bro. I appreciate you, bro. You know, I've been watching you go crazy for a minute. So it's only right that I get you down here, man, for the Midwest Music Grind, bro, because... You know, we that's what we salute. We salute the independent music artists down here. You feel me? And we definitely appreciate you, brother. Definitely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Bro, where are you from? Because I know you ain't from here. Where are you from, bro? <laughs> Some would tell you I'm a little bit from everywhere now, but I'm originally from the rag, though, Chicago. Okay. Uh, out west, you know what I'm saying? Right off Cicero and Iowa. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's that like down there, man? What's that scene like down there and everything? In the city, oh man, the city is live, bro. The city is always crazy. The nightlife is continuously popping. Uh, shout out to everybody back home, man. Shout out to the gladiators out there. But uh, for the most part, man, the city is where you want to be. One of the most beautiful cities in the world, bro. Really? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm about to take myself on down there. You're going to just take me with you one day. Be like, bro, come on back to the city and come check it out with me. You oh, feel so me? As long as we out west, we great. You go out south, you know what I mean? A little bit of a different story, man. To check what colors you wearing. Oh, okay, yeah. Let me let me make sure I'm wearing neutral. <laughs> I am not. You feel me? I'm just coming to have a good time with you and kick it with y'all, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So real quick, bro, where did the name King Black come from? Actually, it came from, I used to be called Mr. Black, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. as time grew on, my music started to develop, my craft got a little bit better. And as black men, we was always crowned as kings. Okay. So it was only right that I took on the name as King Black, you know what I'm saying? Okay. For one, recognizing my culture, who I am, and also recognizing that it's a king in me. Okay, I like that. I like where that's coming from, for sure, for sure. So that's what's up, man. So I see you got the uh, you got the chain popping. You got the the uh, KB on your T-shirt, man. So are you branding it like your like are you in the branding stage right now? Like what you got going with that? So the KB stands for a couple of things. For one, it does stand for King Black. You know what I'm saying? But it also stands for Keep Building. And what that is is that no matter what you're doing, no matter what you got going on, uh, mm-hmm. just always just keep building on it because there's always room for improvement. You know what I'm saying? One minute you could be uh, uh, selling a couple of little bag of tater chips to mm-hmm. own your own vending machine, to flipping that, to own your own convenient grocery store. You know what I'm saying? So just whatever you're doing, just keep building. And that's what the brand is pretty much representing for everybody to always remember. Don't never stop. Don't always never stop, building. right? Don't Tell them again. Stop. Tell them again, bro. I mean, don't never stop. Always keep building. Defy all eyes, no matter what they told you or what the people may say that, hey, because somebody going to always throw fear into your plans. Mm -hmm. Keep building, bro. That's right, man. You're right, though. I like that. I like where you're coming from with all that, man. I like how the the KB goes into something different than just King Black. Exactly. Keep building. Mm -hmm. Keep building, y'all out there. And don't ever stop, man. Keep chasing that dream if you got it. Absolutely. For sure, for sure. So... Uh, let's go back to the beginning of it, man. Like, where exactly, like, when did the King Black get its start from? Like, the journey. Give me the journey a little bit from the beginning, man. Like, you know what I mean? Everything from when you started. Like, when did you pick up the microphone? When did you feel like you had everything that you wanted to do to pursue this career that you're doing right now? Um, actually, it started, like, uh, most people do. Probably, like, 15, 16. I actually didn't even into, like, really rap like that, honestly. I was more into, like, the little poetry um, I actually grew up doing uh, like plays and whatnot and writing plays and stuff like that mm-hmm. or being in school plays and whatnot. Uh, used to sing in church and whatnot. But my brother, Art Dot, uh, shout out to him, Chicago Gladiators. Okay. Uh, he had a little group called Mason Mob, him and his peoples. Okay. And I used to come out the crib and whatnot and just listen to him in the basement. And they just going crazy, you know what I'm mm. saying, making tapes and whatnot. So at that point, it was like, okay. I kind of like dig this. Plus, you know what I'm saying? Music was was a different vibration for me. Right. So that transition to me still doing, you know what I'm saying, some R&B, but following the, the guidance of uh, R. Dot and his teachers and whatnot. And mm-hmm. as my craft got better, I was like, okay, now I want to really try rapping. All right. So how old were we when this was going on? This was like maybe 15, 16, somewhere around that. Just really getting to that stage where I really want to start doing this for real. For real? Okay. So who are some of your influences that kind of helped you along the way, man? Like as far as like, you know, like style and kind of going and getting into it for real. If we had to talk underground, because I, I don't like to use the word local. I yeah. feel like local is demeaning. You know what I'm saying? The independent is dope, but I feel like underground because we ain't mainstream yet. Mm-hmm. If we talking underground, I would definitely want to say our dot. Um, I got a few people, uh, AO Dot Trio. Uh, a big one is Gage. That was my brother back in the city as well. 
they helped mold it me because it was at a point in time we was a group called Gladiators. Okay, okay now how many was it though? Oh, uh, it was uh, R. Dot, L. Dot. Uh, you had Dave, Gage, Relly, and uh, and Tony Chicago. Tony Chicago. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So about five or six of us. Okay. But the older cats, the R. Dot, Gladiators, uh, the the Rellies and them, they was all older than me and Tony Chicago. Yeah. So for us to even record, we had to battle rap. Oh, okay. So you come from the battle rap. I come from all that. Oh, man. I come from actual battle rap and the real definition of freestyling. You know what I'm saying? Like Now, real quick, what's the real definition of freestyling for everybody out there? A freestyle is literally off the top. You throw a beat on, the first thing that comes to your man, you just run with it. Nothing is pre-written. This is not something that you wrote six months ago and you memorized it and you just can have you can do it off any beat that's not a freestyle that's a very well rehearsed verse is what that is tell them out there i'm asking you because oh, you know fair. everybody likes to put the word freestyle in their songs and i'm they like do. i know what freestyle is because i freestyle too much whenever i'm making beats exactly I you know what i mean so i'm always freestyling i feel like that's yeah. one of the, that's where i get a lot of my ideas my brainstorming everything from see freestyling is is the root to everything man that's what battle rap originally came from it wasn't no wait nine months and whatnot to to put on the battle it's okay we've been in battle let's go you know okay. if we won acapella it's so right did there. you go through like any, any kind of like battle circuit like coming up and everything like any underground battles where you was at not a lot of underground battles it was more so uh within our own circle mm -hmm. because i knew that i wanted to do music yeah you know so you kind of just basically were sharpening your sword within your your core group of people absolutely i feel that did I that, that. Uh, and then like once that transition and we was able to get in the studio that was that if we talk in mainstream i would say the game bow wow uh snoop mm -hmm. and bump j oh okay bump j definitely. bump j okay definitely. now Shout out to bump j and the goon squad too okay for sure for sure yeah one name I didn't uh, didn't think I was going to hear was Bow Wow, which is actually pretty cool, man. Because I, you know, we all know who Bow Wow is. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? So, so I don't think Bow he gets. Don't get enough respect. I don't think he gets enough respect, he bro. Don't, man. He Get that man his flowers, man. Because like it is what it day, is. Music is music. That's what that is. It's a whole genre. You feel me? Music mm -hmm. is all over. You cannot just put one music into one box. If it ain't gangster enough, or if you ain't shooting enough people, or it ain't twerking enough, it ain't relevant. Like, dude, Bow Wow have set some of the most dopest trends and I mean like he had dudes back in the day really singing his music real talk I work. watched Grown 106 in Park I know me? what it is so <laughs> people be capping bro they do a lot of capping about Bow Wow Bow Wow is huge bro like and I liked his transition to music I like how he went from making songs for the kids on the block to you know what I'm saying making the grown man music the love songs because music is all genres you gotta talk about all of it talk to him it. talk to him KB that's why my I'm catalog listening to you. It is. that's why my catalog if you pull up anything on YouTube for King Black Apple Music Spotify, you gonna see that there is a wide variety of music. You don't just see me as this labeled artist. Oh, black is a trap rapper. You know what I'm saying? Black mm -hmm. is a, a street rapper. No, I'm not. I'm an artist first and foremost. Yes, I'm sir. A hip -hop yes, artist. sir. So I have love songs. I have conscious music. Mm -hmm. I got uh, songs that's talking about uh, what a woman is going through. I got songs that's gonna empower men. I got songs about everything because everybody is listening, not just certain people. So you are a versatile music artist. Absolutely. Right. Right. Okay, I like that. I like that, man. Yeah, man. King Black in the building, y'all. Y'all know what's going yeah. on, man. It's all good, man. So, real quick, have you done any shows as of recent, or do you have any shows coming up or anything? I haven't done anything recent. Um, I've been kind of just stepping back and working on this new project that I got going on. Will you elaborate on that project for me, man? What's it called? When's it coming? So the, the project is actually going to be called The Legacy. It's a dedication to a, a, a company that I'm pretty much uh, building up and everything like that. That's okay. going to come out next year. So I want that to be right. Ten videos going to come from the album. It's going to have a lot of little dope features on there. Shout out mm -hmm. to my boy Rich Bull, kill him. Uh, my brother Delirious. Uh, it's going to be a nice little beautiful project. But I want to make it perfect. I don't want to just put out anything. I do got a couple new singles out there, though. Okay. What's the singles called? Oh, Pressure. You know what I'm saying? You got Pressure that's out there. And then you got Love Song. It's more of a reggae type of feel. Stepped into a whole nother genre with that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you said that you sing as well, right? I used to. I still get out from time to time. Okay, okay. Don't get me okay. the line now, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I want to make sure I heard you correctly out there, man. I don't want to be funny. Just want to make sure I heard you right, man. So that's what's up, man. King Black. So, real quick, man. Let me get your social media handles. What's your What's your social media? You can find me on Facebook at um, at King Black. Uh, Instagram is gonna be at King Black underscore J N M G. Uh, Spotify. 
King Black, YouTube, King Black, JNMG. Uh, I ain't really got Snapchat like that. I need to get back on that. Mm -hmm. um, you can also follow me on Twitter at King Black, uh, JNMG. So everything's just basically almost under one handle. Pretty much. Cool, cool. So how long would you say you've been doing music for? I've been doing music. That's like asking a woman her age when you talk to me. Oh, man. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, mean, no, I hear you. I, hear I would you. say over 10 years. Over 10 years. Over 10 years, I would say that. So you put the time and the work in is what you're saying. So if you had any words for any up and other coming music artists, man, what would you say? I would say learn a history and pave a new lane because... Back in the day, bro, hip hop had so many highways that it was impossible to really grasp everything that was going on. Now, a lot of music sounds the same. Open up another doorway, but also study some of the greats, though. Even the greats that came after the greats. See how they cadence it. See the type of things that they talk about. You know what I'm saying? What captivated everybody to gravitate towards them? Mm -hmm. What separates them? Be that new separation. Somebody got to change the game because it got changed. Yep. Now we kind of stuck. Mm, okay. There's another door that needs to be opened up, and I guarantee you somebody going to open it up. Maybe me. You know what I'm saying? It could be anybody out there. Could you know? be anybody. Could be anybody. That's what's up, man. King Black, y'all. So I know we got a new song that you're gonna be debuting today, man. What you got for us today, man? What'd you uh what'd you bring up here? I got check a bag, man. Check a bag. Now how'd that come about right quick, man? How'd you come up with this check a bag song? Talk you know, to me. What's crazy is that actually I don't write music. The music writes itself. Mm. So what happens is I go through a little transition where I put on like maybe 15, 20 beats. And I can tell you how beat is gonna come on within the first six seconds. Okay. I kid you not. Like within if I'm not liking this beat within the first six seconds, I tell you I'm not gonna do nothing to it. And the beat just said, this is what this song should sound like. Right. Word for word. Okay. Cool. cool. It's crazy. Like, I, it's, I, it's hard to explain because I don't write music at all. I, I let it write itself. And that's what it's about, folks. So you let that thing come to you. Absolutely. And there it is, y'all. So what's it called one more time? Check a bag. Y'all know what it is. King Black, check a bag. Check and... a bag. Y'all know what time it is, man. Well, that's what's up, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Absolutely, man. Appreciate Kicking it with here. us, man. Kicking some knowledge and everything. We're about to play that check a bag. And Let's get busy. Make sure y'all tune in, man, next week. Midwest. Midwest Music Grind, sponsored by Dante's In-N-Out, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. And... Bow. <laughs>